In this video, we're going to take a look at categories and how they can help you organize your content in ways that can make it easier for your readers to find the information they're looking for. Let's edit the local events news item. Over here on the right, about halfway down, is a categories box. There's one category called uncategorized. WordPress must always have at least one category. It can be anything you want, but there must be at least one. We're going to change this post from being uncategorized to having a good category. Now, it's about events, so I'm going to click Add New Category. And there we are. And now I can uncheck Uncategorized and click Update. Now, on the front of our site, you'll note that under Category, it says Events. And over on the right, under the Categories widget, it lists both. And if we click on Events, then we go to the Archive page for Events. And right now, we only have this one. But we could have all of the posts about Events. We can also have Child Categories. So, let's say we're going to have an event about music. We can choose events as the parent category, click Add New, and now we have events and music. And on the front of the website, you can see that this is in both events and music. And now here we have events, music, and uncategorized. So within events, you could have a collection of music posts. And people can view that page and bookmark just that one. So if they're only interested in music events in your town, then they can save this page and come back whenever they want. I'd also like to point out the web address here. It's slash category slash events slash music. So it's easy for people to read and understand where they are on your website. Now there's another way to manage categories. Over on the left, under Posts, there's a Categories link. In here we can Edit, Quick Edit, Delete, or View. If we edit, it takes us to a page like this. and We can change the name, the slug, the parent, and we can put in a description. The description may or may not show up on the front of the site. Let's put one in here. And now let's go back to categories. And now we can choose the view link and look. And you'll note that it does not render the description in this theme, but it might in another theme. Right here we can add categories. If you don't need to put anything into parent or description, then this can go very quickly because slug is automatically created. So, for example, I can simply type construction and hit enter, and now I have construction. I can type growth and hit enter, and now I have growth. So you can very quickly add in a number of categories here. Now let's go back to our posts. It's possible to choose quick edit put the post into the category, unchoose uncategorized, and click update. Or you can click edit, come down here, and you'll see all the categories listed here. And you can simply choose one. And now, if we reload our home page, which is a post archive, then you'll see the first one is in events and music, and then we have growth, and then we have construction. And over here on the right, you'll see we have these categories. Now categories that don't have any posts won't show up in this list. There's one more thing I'd like to show you on the categories page. On the right here, it shows how many posts are in that category. And if you click it, 
it takes you to the editor for just that category. And you can see right here the filter that is set up to show us that. That makes it very easy to simply find all the posts in a certain category. And then if you wanted to change all of those posts to another category, you could bulk edit and put it in another category. Categories are only useful if you use them well. If you use them poorly, they can actually be a detriment to your site. So think about the structure that you want to use. Think about how people are going to be looking for information on your website. Make a good structure, and it can really help people. If you make a poor structure, it can actually confuse them quite a bit. You don't have to use categories. You can simply leave one category for all your posts and take this widget off altogether, and categories simply become irrelevant on your site. But once you have a fair number of posts, categories are a good idea because they help people find what they're looking for.